For wearing that little sticker, I voted. If that wasn't enough of a statement to make after casting your ballot, we all know social media has given everybody an opportunity to rant, to rave, to be a pundit when it came to this election. A lot of people taking a break from social media. As you know, a lot of the rhetoric has not been pretty. Our Gamer Rojas live tonight in Dallas sharing how the post-election healing process can get started with what you choose to post. Well, the last days of the campaign, Donald Trump's advisors reportedly urged their candidate to stop tweeting. Now one local social media expert says that voters eager to get something off their chest might want to use that same sense of restraint. When you lose, it's customary to congratulate your opponent. And that's what Chicky D did on our Facebook page after we announced Donald Trump had been elected the 45th president. Quote, congratulations, America. Now you have your racist, sexist, lying rapist as your president. As a country, we need to acknowledge that maybe we do have a problem. Maybe we do need to um, start compromising more. Dr. Janet Johnson teaches emerging media and communications at UT Dallas and says the divisiveness of this election has never been more apparent than on social media, where both supporters and the candidates themselves have crossed lines. Uh, well, Hillary even posted a meme saying, friends don't let friends vote Trump. And I thought, well, that is telling people you can't believe in something that you might believe in. Dr. Johnson admits it's the nature of social media to be provocative and to vent frustrations, but she worries that the hostile tone is spilling over into how we treat each other in person. That's why she urges everyone to stop lashing out and to make posts more open to listening to each other. And I don't know if that's possible or not yet. It's just social media has to grow into that. And Dr. Johnson tells us as the day has gone by, she's seen some of those angrier posts give way to more reflective posts, suggesting that the rhetoric could calm down the further we get away from the election. We're live in Dallas. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.